In Sweden, the railways are a natural part of the system for transporting people and goods. The demand for rail transport is increasing very quickly. This applies to both goods and passenger traffic, and both short and long distance traffic. And it's particularly true in the case of Stockholm, which is the hub of the Swedish railway network. Eight out of every ten journeys either start or end in Stockholm. But with the increased number of trains, the tracks are simply insufficient. Fjärr en Stockholm här. Jag räknar med att det blir stående någon eller några minuter. Jag tycker att det är dåligt att de är försenade hela tiden. Det är väldigt mycket förseningar. Som när man bestämmer att man ska ta ett tåg och sen att så ska det liksom passa hela vägen in. Man ska inte bli stående sen kvart och vänta. Long distance traffic is increasing. At the same time as a quarter of a million trips are made on commuter trains every day and in a region with approximately 20,000 new inhabitants every year. There is a limiting factor when it comes to rail traffic through Stockholm, namely the two tracks that connect Stockholm Central with Stockholm South, referred to often as the Wasp Waste. The tracks have not been changed since they were first built in 1871. Today they carry all rail traffic in Stockholm, commuter trains, regional trains from the Lake Mella Valley, long distance trains and goods trains, a total of over 500 trains a day. Now the track capacity will be extended with the aid of the city line, an approximately six kilometer long tunnel with two rail tracks for commuter services running beneath central Stockholm. The tunnel will run in rock between the commuter train stations Stockholm South and Tomtebuda and pass beneath Södermalm, Rydaholmen, Norrmalm and Vasastan. The city line's two new tracks will double the capacity for rail traffic, something that passengers, both within and outside Stockholm, will notice. In terms of more frequent services, more reliable departure and arrival times and shorter travel times. Two new stations will be built on the line. City Station and Odenplan Station. These centrally located stations will make commuter trains a stronger alternative to the underground for people living in the center of Stockholm. The subsurface commuter stations are being built near the underground stations T-Centralen and Udenplan to make it easier for passengers to change quickly between commuter services and other forms of public transport. The city line consists in principle of a double track tunnel with traffic in both directions. However, on certain sections it branches into several tracks. Also, throughout the entire length of the line, there's a service and rescue tunnel. This means that over a million cubic meters of rock will be excavated. In order to minimize the construction period, the tunnel work is divided into a number of contracts. The first phase involves the construction of so-called production tunnels. These will serve as access tunnels for the actual work sites, which are situated as far down as 50 meters below ground surface. The production tunnels will be used for transportation to and from the sites. The main task will involve the transport of excavated rock to the surface. This places huge demands on logistics. A construction project of this size at the very heart of central Stockholm is, of course, an enormous challenge. Since many are affected by the construction work, information becomes especially vital. During the work on the city line, it will be impossible to avoid different kinds of disruptions. For example, underground services will at times be affected, above all at T-Centralen and Udenplan. 
By using a method known as cautious blasting, that is, smaller rounds, disturbance is minimized for those who live and work in the vicinity. This means that each tunnel face can be advanced at a rate of between 5 and 10 meters a week. But it's not possible to blast rock tunnels along the entire length of the city line. Between Söder Mellestrand and Riederholmen, the rock is situated too far below the water, which means that here it'll be necessary to build a concrete tunnel on the bottom. Work on the city line will continue for about nine years. Once it's finished, it will solve many of the traffic problems that currently affect both the commuter services and the long-distance rail services. With the city line, it'll be possible to develop regional rail traffic in the long term and to create an attractive and efficient public transport system, a system that meets tomorrow's needs and demands and will increase the attraction of Stockholm and the Mela Valley.